Mars is a planet full of mystery. It is the only planet other than Earth that has been explored and has yielded signs of lost civilization. The discovery of strange and unusual things on the surface of Mars has been one of the most exciting discoveries in space exploration in recent years. Some wonder whether it has water, life, or even a magnetic field. Some wonder if it has the resources to support a human presence. Others wonder what it would be like to live on Mars, but scientists have found evidence that Mars may have once been habitable and they are looking for more signs. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will take a look into the signs of the lost civilization found on Mars. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Although it has long been known that Mars is a rocky planet, it has had a rocky surface since it was first discovered. But in the past 10 years, the Mars Curiosity rover has changed that. It has revealed that the surface of Mars has been sculpted by wind and water in ways that no one had ever imagined. Mars is half the size of Earth. The diameter of Mars is 6,786 kilometers, while the Earth is 7,926 kilometers. In terms of composition, it resembles Earth. Mars has a very thin layer of atmosphere that mostly consists of carbon dioxide. Due to this reason, the temperature on Mars is colder than on Earth. But geological features suggest that Mars was once a wet and warm planet, just like Earth. Moreover, the Martian day is 24 hours and 39 minutes long. Seasons like Earth also existed on Mars, but their duration is twice as long on Earth because there are 687 days in a year. Researchers found volcanoes, implant basins, and canyons like the ones here on Earth. Mars and Earth have many of the same physical land features. Due to all of these reasons, researchers think that life existed on Mars a long time back. Let's discuss some of the scientific discoveries found on Mars that support the theory of life that existed on the red planet. Number 1. Organic Carbon NASA's Mars rover discovered some strange signs on the red planet. The Curiosity rover was exploring a rock outcrop on Mars when it noticed something strange. The rover is the largest rover on Mars and is equipped with a number of instruments that can help scientists determine whether rocks are worth investigating further or not. The instruments can also help scientists determine the chemical composition of a rock. The Curiosity rover on Mars found organic compounds in a rock that it has been examining for months. It found that cracks within the rock contain orange-tinted carbonate molecules which resemble limestone cave deposits. This sort of material can form only in the presence of liquid water, according to scientists. This is a sign that the rock once had an environment that was habitable. Organic compounds are the building blocks of life and are also crucial to the environment. They come from the breakdown of living things and are commonly made up of oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Scientists have long suspected that the planet has at least the potential to support life. And the discovery of organics on the surface of Mars has only reinforced this belief. Number 2. Polar Ice Caps Water is a critical component of life and plays a role in many biological processes. Because water is so fundamental to life, water on Mars is a major focus of search and exploration, both on the surface and in the underground. The polar caps on Mars were discovered in the mid-17th century. They cover the southern hemisphere, where a large amount of ice is located and the Northern Hemisphere, where a smaller one is located. This discovery of water on Mars is a major step forward in our search to understand the Red Planet. The discovery of the polar caps on Mars has many implications. The polar caps are thought to be the source of the methane that has been detected in the atmosphere of Mars over the past several years. This methane is most likely produced by the chemical reactions that occur when the surface of Mars is exposed to sunlight. The methane could be a natural source of fuel for the planet and could explain why, on average, the red planet is so cold. The main components of the polar caps are the ice sheets that sit on top of the planet. The ice sheets are made up of layers of ice, each with a different thickness. The polar caps are the permanent land-based ice caps at the planet's poles. They are the only areas on Mars that are not volcanic and are not composed of the same rocky material surface. Number 3. Overflowing Lakes and Valleys 
Back then, Mars was the land of lakes and rivers. Many orbiters and rovers have confirmed this. The new findings show that Mars was once so wet on the surface that the lakes would often overflow. What a difference a few billion years can make. This is a big clue for scientists about water itself on Mars. Now, scientists are finding the answer to how the climate changed from a warmer, wet one to a cold, dry one. Some researchers published their peer-reviewed findings in Nature. They outlined, The surface environment of early Mars had an active, hydraulic cycle, including flowing liquid water that carved river valleys and filled lake basins. Over 200 of these lake basins filled with sufficient water to breach the confining topography, causing catastrophic flooding and incision of outlet canyons. As we all know how important water is for life, the discovery of these dried valleys and lakes shows that Mars was a perfect planet for life billions of years ago. Number 4. Ancient Microbial Life on Mars in 1996, a team of scientists announced they had found evidence of microscopic life in a meteorite from Mars. The rock escaped from Mars about 16 million years ago. It started to move around the Sun and was swept away from Earth. The meteorite landed in Antarctica. After examination, scientists found three types of evidence that showed that ancient microbial life could exist on Mars. The globules in meteorite contain small grains of magnetic iron oxide and iron sulfide. These two compounds are formed by bacterial metabolism. The globules in the meteorite were carbonated and examined under an electron microscope. Observations showed that globules were covered in places with a large number of worms like fossilized bacteria. Globules also contain traces of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons which can be the decay of microbes. Some geochemists neglected this evidence because of the temperature under which carbonated globules were formed. The temperature was 300 degrees Celsius. According to them, this temperature was too hot for microbial life to exist. But others concluded that globules might have formed under 100 degrees Celsius. However, the temperature must be raised because of the meteorite moving around the sun. Number 5. Presence of Zircon on Mars NWA7034 is another meteorite that was found in 2013 in the Sahara. The grains of zircon mineral have been found abundantly. Zircon with shock features was found in the meteorite. High pressure of about 20 to 30 gigapascals was applied. Due to this pressure, the atoms around the zircon lattice were tightly bonded with each other, and they ended up sharing some points. Researchers found it strange as the rock with the same features was found in South Africa and Chicxulub. According to researchers, Mexican Chicxulub crater was the reason for the extinction of dinosaurs on Earth. And zircon rocks are large enough to cause the mass extinction on Mars. Zircon's discovery on Mars supports the theory that life could have existed on Mars that disappeared, just like the dinosaurs on Earth. So, this brings our video to an end. Do you guys believe that civilization could have existed on Mars a long time back? Do you think that NASA rovers will be able to find Martians? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.